Welcome to Inside Sim Racing, and I'm here to introduce a new team member, David Adams. Dave is a, first of all, seems like a great guy. I haven't met him in person, but I've talked to him quite a bit over the phone, via email and stuff. His enthusiasm, you're going to see in this video, is just off the charts, infectious. And Dave has some experience doing some, he did a rental car review deal he was doing where he got to drive a 458 Italia Ferrari, super jealous. Dave was a customer at Sim Motion, reached out to us, wanted to be part of the team. And this was before we took Inside Sim Racing back over. And then as we were transitioning to do this, I thought, man, I should reach out and see if he'd be interested. Sure enough, he was, and I'm glad he was has done some stuff with his own channel, loves to drift, does, did some real life drifting, uh, also loves rally, is big into Assetto Corsa and some other titles, and thought he'd be a great fit to focus on the drift world, and he's done some drift competitions, he's done some broadcasting. Anyway, without further ado, here's David Adams with his Assetto Corsa content manager getting started video. What's up everybody in Internet land? David Adams here with Inside Sim Racing and today we're installing Content Manager for Assetto Corsa on your PC. Let's jump into it. Once again, my name's Dave Adams. If you're new here, welcome aboard. And if you're a returning sim racer, welcome back. Now, the mad lads over at Sim Motion wanted me to flex my technical knowledge and show people how to install Content Manager for Assetto Corsa. Now this video is meant to be more of a crash course as opposed to a detailed tutorial, so I'm gonna make a few assumptions before jumping into this. One, you already know what Assetto Corsa is. You don't need me to tell you that it's probably the best vehicle simulator on the market today. Two, you're running Windows. Will this work on Linux? Maybe running Wine or Windboat or something similar, you might be able to get this up and running on your Steam Deck with Proton, but this isn't the video to show you how to do that. And three, you already have access to the prerequisites. So things such as Assetto Corsa, maybe some of the DLC, you already have that going. If you don't, go purchase it now. Join me back when you got that done. Now we will be running through an install of Assetto Corsa just to show you how that looks, but we won't spend too much time on that because the focus is Content Manager. So let's jump right in and start with installing Assetto Corsa via Steam, and then we'll jump in and install Content Manager. As you can tell by the length of the video, this will not take long, so you're gonna be up and running before you know it. So let's start off by talking about what Content Manager actually is. I'm not gonna belabor the point because really what Content Manager is is just a launcher with a bunch of stuff baked into it to make your life so much easier in the world of Assetto Corsa and sim racing. So jumping over to the website for Content Manager, you can see a detailed description of what Content Manager actually is, which talks about the differences between the basic version, which is free, and the premium version, which is paid, and goes into a list of like the requirements and stuff like that. You can pause this video and check that out if you want, or you could just visit it on your own I'll put a link to this and everything that we talk about here in the description down below. So scrolling down, you can see some of those key features I mentioned before. You can feel free to pause the video once again, or you can just go and visit it on your own, on your own time. But we're gonna jump right into the download section and you can see there's a bunch of options for you to choose from depending on how you want to get this downloaded and installed on your machine. But for the sake of brevity and to keep this nice and short, I'm gonna go ahead and just click that direct download button. And we're just gonna do a fresh install of Assetto Corsa so you can see how easy that is and how quick it is to get that up and running. All right, and we're just gonna accept these terms and conditions that I absolutely read. All right, cool. So Assetto Corsa is installed. We're ready to go with that. Let's jump right in, get Content Manager installed and see how easy that is. Okay, so as you can see, I downloaded the zip file to my documents folder. You can put this anywhere you like. I personally recommend giving it its own folder. That way it just kind of keeps things neat. But after you do that, you can just go right ahead double click on this zip file, and let's go ahead and extract those files into this location. Okay, so with that extracted, we're gonna go ahead and click on this content manager application. And you can see that upon running that, it creates a few things, a manifest file, and a set of course of directory, and a content manager updater which is why I recommend putting it in its own folder. That way it keeps things nice and clean. You don't have that clutter. You don't have to worry about deleting things accidentally. All right, here's where we start jumping into things. We need to start off by finding the Assetto Corsa installation folder. Now, if you don't have a memory like a steel trap, you're gonna do what 99.95% of us do. And we're just gonna jump back over to Steam. We're gonna click on this little cog right here. And then we're gonna go down to manage and then browse local files. You'll see that brings up our local directory with our Assetto Corsa install. We're just gonna click right in here. We're gonna copy this entire path, jump back over to Content Manager, paste that in here, and we're set up and good to go. 
So the reason why it needs that root folder is twofold. One, so it can actually launch Assetto Corsa, and two, so it can install cars, tracks, and other mods. Okay, so now we just need to give ourselves a name. I'll just put my name in here. If you look right here, you can actually see that it asks if you wanna create a start menu shortcut. I don't typically do that because I just throw a shortcut on my desktop because I'm lazy. I like it to be right in front of me. So looking down beneath that, you can see Content Manager has a few plugins that it would like to have installed so that it can function a little bit better for you and make things a little bit more streamlined. The first one is 7-Zip. That allows you to extract all those awesome mods that you're gonna be installing later on. So we'll just go ahead and click on that. I personally install Ceph Sharp, though it's not required. What that does is installs a little lightweight browser inside of Content Manager, which allows you to browse websites such as SimGrid and find live races and things like that. I personally recommend installing Fan, even though you don't have to, it's not required. It just gives you a way to bring the tires of older models up to date with your latest release of custom shaders patch. Jumping ahead, we see these last two at the bottom. These are really cool. Uh, Image Magic gives you nice, big, beautiful screenshots. It's just a nice way to show off those awesome drifts or amazing overtakes that you've done in a race. And then Magic Net is basically the same thing, just a little bit slower, but with higher quality. So now we have these middle two, and the reason why I left these to last is because these really only pertain to you if you are a developer or if you design mods, build cars and tracks and such like that. So if that's your thing, feel free to go ahead and install them. If you don't think you'll be doing that, you can always install them later if you want. I'll just go ahead and install them now to prove that, you know, there's no harm in getting them going. So after we've got that installed, we'll go ahead and just click OK and boom. You're up and running, Content Manager is installed and ready to take you into your first race. You see it's already got a car for you, a track for you, so all you really have to do at this point is click go and you're ready to start racing around. So in order to give you guys a live demonstration and show you guys this actually launching something, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move some wires around, we're gonna launch this back on the sim rig and I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, so here we are with Content Manager up and running. Uh, you can see I've got my car pulled up on there because, you know, got to show off the toy. And I've got a track selected already, but we're not really going to get into that. I just want to show you some of the ba basic features of what Content Manager brings to the scene. You can see clicking on the Drive tab under the single player, you've got a quick race, you've got your practice, your hot lap, a race if you actually want to go against the AI. Track day, very similar to that, just, you know, not really any sort of set rules or regulations in there it's just get in there drive around with a bunch of different ai cars and then you have various other options to choose from we won't get into those if you guys want to know more about that let us know in the comments below and we'll set that video up for you clicking over on the challenges you can see that there are various challenges to jump in from drifting to drag racing circuit racing different time trials some of them are built into a set of Corsa by default, but others are exclusive to Content Manager and you'll really like them. Trust me on that one. Clicking on the Live tab, you can see it brings up Grid Finder. You can also click on SimGrid and other live event series and things like that. So you can find a live race and get to racing anyone around the world immediately. Then clicking on the Online tab, this is where you can find private servers and league hosted servers. So if you have a league that you like to race with, you can click on their server and jump right into the action with a car and just make it happen. From there, you have other context menus, which we won't really go into the detail on once again, but you have lap times, you know, previous laps that you've run around different tracks. You have the results from AI races or time trials or various things like your hot laps. Your media folder is going to have your replays and your screenshots. Content's going to show your mods, such as your cars and your tracks. Settings are going to be, well, you guessed it, your settings. So setting up your controls, setting up your graphics, all that good stuff. And then the about tab is where, of course, you can learn more about the application. And if you're like me and you're a supporter, they'll thank you for the support. So with all that boring stuff out of the way, let's actually click go and see what happens when you do that. You can see it skips all the fuss all the must jumps right into your track it loads up your car sets everything ready to go then all you have to do is click drive and you're in the hot seat and that's it you're now ready to start making a set of course of your own by tweaking tuning and shifting everything to your own desires do me a quick favor if you found this video useful click that like button down below and while you're down there if you haven't already go ahead and click that subscribe button we're well on our way to 200,000 subscribers and i think it's going to be really cool if you can all join us for that one be sure to check out our discord as well you'll find a link to that in the description down below and with that once again i'm david adams this is inside sim racing i'm gonna go do some driving i suggest you do the same Take care.